In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through our CRM in more details and show you all the tabs and buttons we have in the software. Once you install the Chrome extension from our website, Octopus CRM should appear in this list of Chrome extensions in your browser. The tool consists of two parts, the pop-up window and the CRM itself. The pop-up window is designed for you to transfer LinkedIn profiles you want to connect, message, visit, or endorse from LinkedIn to the corresponding campaign in the CRM. The CRM itself is created for you to work with these lists of users you've transferred from LinkedIn and launch the automated bulk actions. Let me show you how the pop-up window works. As an example, I would like to send bulk messages to all business owners I have in my network. So I go to the sales navigator, but you can do that in the search panel on free LinkedIn accounts as well. Then open either the advanced search or the My Network page here. Filter users. Then open Octopus from this search page so the link on the filtered search results could appear in this section. Choose Message as your first step since we're sending users to the messaging campaign. Skip the second step if you would like these users to appear in the default campaign or create a new one. Input how many users from the filtered list you want to transfer to the CRM and press Send to CRM. Well done! Now we go to the Message tab and here are these users we've just transferred. Basically, you can send profiles to the CRM from multiple places on LinkedIn. You can use search panels on free LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, or Recruiter Lite accounts. Transfer users individually by opening their profiles and sending them over to the CRM. Or use the My Network page here to transfer your recently added connections. Also, note that when you transfer your first level connections from this list, they will be taken from the top of the page and displayed upside down in the CRM. So when you launch your bulk messaging campaign, it will message the old profiles first. Now, let's have a look at what we have in the CRM itself. Here is the dashboard. It shows the most important LinkedIn stats for you to have all in one place and keep track of it. So, you see how many first level connections you currently have, the number of pending invitations sent, your weekly profile views in comparison to previous weeks, weekly search appearances, and your profile rating. Then you can see your social selling index that shows your overall performance on LinkedIn, your main skills, and your weekly activity. You can click these buttons and it will show you how many connection requests or messages you've sent for the past seven days. Okay, let's move on. To start sending automated connection requests with Octopus, we go to the Connect tab. See what we have here. Here is a section for you to input the note that will be sent along with your connection request. Use first name, last name, company, and position buttons to make your message personalized. Here's the list of LinkedIn users you've previously sent here from the LinkedIn search. You can edit their first and last names here and remove various symbols if there are any. Some LinkedIn users use abbreviations like DR period for doctor or use symbols like stars in front of their first names. So you have to make sure this stuff is removed. Okay, all good. If you would like to clear the list up, you simply click here and press yes. Or if you need to remove several specific profiles from the list, you can check them and click on the basket Everything works pretty simple. With Octopus, you have an ability to remove all free LinkedIn profiles and leave premium users only. To do that, click Premium and confirm your action. That's a very good feature if you would like to target active LinkedIn users only. Also, you can cut a specific number of LinkedIn users either from the top or bottom of the list. So you input the number here, select the needed side, and press Cut. 20 users from the very top of the list have been removed. Octopus gives an ability to create multiple campaigns under each action. So you can create different campaigns with different lists of the users you would like to connect, message, 
visit, and endorse. As an example, you can go here, click Actions, Create, and enter the campaign name. Let's say Australia CEOs Real Estate. You can now go to the LinkedIn search and transfer all CEOs from the real estate industry based in Australia to this campaign. You can create as many campaigns as needed and store different audiences separately. To delete a specific campaign, simply select it from the drop-down list, then Actions, and Remove. Also, there are two great buttons here, Forward and Assign. The Forward button allows you to transfer LinkedIn users from one campaign to another. You click on it, check the needed campaign, you can actually select more than one, and press Forward. That's it! All the users will be copied and pasted to the selected campaign. The Assign button works differently. It sends those users who accepted your connection invitations to the selected campaign. Let me show you an example. You press Assign, and you'll have to choose a campaign as you did previously. Let's select a default messaging campaign. Then you launch Octopus, and the software will be sending connection requests. Once your connection requests are accepted, these users will appear in that default messaging campaign. Therefore, if you would like to send follow-up messages after your connection requests are accepted, this feature is a great solution here. I'll speak more about that in the Marketing Funnels video. Okay, you've added a note here, check the names in the list, and now you need to indicate how many users you would like to connect, and press Launch. Octopus will be sending connection invitations one by one, and once processed, they will appear in this section for you. As you see, here's the Forward button as well. You can click on it, select the campaign, and these process users will be sent there. The messaging, visiting, and endorsing features look almost identical. It's also important for you to know that all the data will be stored in the CRM unless you remove it. Therefore, if you're done for today, you can go back to this list tomorrow and continue working with these users. Let's have a look at the Pending Invites tab. It shows you the list of pending sent connection requests. You can assign them some specific campaign so the LinkedIn user could appear there once they accept the connection request. Also, you can select some requests and withdraw them, or input the number here, and click Withdraw to remove some old pending connection requests in bulk. You can also go to Billing to see your current plan here, cancel your subscription, click Change to upgrade or downgrade your plan, and see the date of your next payment. Don't forget to contact our support team if you have any questions or comments. Talk to you in the next videos.